This is Jason Tatum, 6'8", with an elite handle and a buttery smooth jump shot. He's also about to take over NBA 2K24, but in NBA 2K23, he already has some of the nicest signature animations in the game. The only problem is you sacrifice some realism with some animation speed, making this some of the most difficult shots in the game. But don't worry, I'm here to show you how to set these up in both offline and online game modes. And as you can see right here, I'm using it in multiplayer against guys like Ball Ball, 7'7", with an elite reach, elite defensive statistics, and that athleticism. But once you know how to set up these signature moves, you're going to be able to execute some of the nicest animations in NBA 2K. And we're first going to start with Jason Tatum's signature step over fadeaway. A secret triple threat combo in NBA 2K23 that only a few players have in the game. And to execute this move, you want to execute any step over jab step. That is with your left pivot foot established, you want to tap the right stick to the left and then hold square or pull down on the right stick and you'll get this nice signature fadeaway animation. And if you're like me and you grew up watching the NBA since the 90s, you already know apex shot creators out of the triple threat like MJ, like Kobe, and continuing that lineage through Carmelo Anthony and now Jason Tatum, you know that this is one of the nicest ways to set your defender up. Move him around and create the different angles out of the triple threat position and hit him with that step over and if he doesn't budge or try to crowd you out, that's where the fadeaway comes in handy. And I know that the contest is saying anywhere between 9 to 16% and even 20% at times, but for me, that's just the limitation of the current contest system, which I expect to be improved in NBA 2K24. So the problem with these kinds of moves, and they're very aesthetically pleasing, but they're also the most difficult to execute in the game. You want to think of this position sort of like executing different crossovers using your different shoulder fakes, your face-up moves, and your triple threat moves in combination in order to set this move up. Take a look at this right here. I tap the right stick towards the baseline to execute that shoulder fake, release L2 to face up and swing the ball, and then combo that smoothly into a step over which I cancel with a jump shot to get this nice fadeaway with a 9% contest. So in setting up this move, you always want to take a look at your defender's footwork. Take a look at how these different pump fake jab step combos shift my defender around because he wants to cut me off from potentially driving towards the basket. And as soon as you see him give up a certain angle, just launch into that fadeaway. Take a look at this Zion Williamson, a much bigger defender, much more athletic. He's giving me a little bit of space because he's afraid of the drive, so I hit him with this nice step over. He doesn't react. He inches in a little bit slowly, but that's not enough in order to properly contest a shot like this. Alright, next is Jason Tatum's infamous signature sidestep jumper, one of my favorite moves in the game, in my opinion, one of the most disrespectful moves in NBA 2K. But in order to set this up, you want to set this up in combination with size up moves headed towards your right and then hold R2 and then hold the right stick to the right. So in this situation right here, I execute a switch back dribble from right to left. I tap the right stick from right to left and then tap the right stick right for a tween up left for a front cross and then up right for another front crossover and then I hold R2 and hold the right stick to the right. It's a perfect rhythm combination dribble move in order to set up that nice sidestep jump shot. So because the sidestep animation is so slow, you want to observe how far or how close your defender is playing you. In this situation right here, he's playing me for the drive, so I hit that switch back combo directly into a tween dribble. In this case, he does not react. In fact, he switches stances a little bit. And from there, I see that that's too much distance in order to not hit this sidestep jump shot. And again, while that's a 16% contest, believe me, once NBA 2K24's improved contest system rolls around that is gonna be easy work and let me tell you even against guys like Wemby the demigod in my team just a simple switch back dribble into an escape tween crossover gives you so much space based on how your defenders overreact on simple plays just like that and it gives me a wealth of space in order to hit this nice sidestep jumper and although I get a 7% contest again that should be wide open in NBA 2k24 and if you got 
these tiny little munchkins like CJ McCollum on you. Man, just set them up with your nice little rhythm combo. Switch back dribble, right tween crossover, left front crossover right here. The right front crossover in combination gives you this nice hesitation dribble. CJ tries to cut off the left side of the floor. And from there, we just hit him with that nice signature sidestep jumper. And even without pro play, although maybe this is a pro play animation in NBA 2K23, you can see how uncanny the recreation of the signature move is in NBA 2K, allowing you to become Jason Tatum in a video game. This is such impressive technology. And as you can see right here in online play, as long as you got someone shorter than you, and even if they're not shorter than you, hand down, man down, that's an easy move right there. And here again, someone like Keith Van Horn, who's around 6'10". Remember, the work in executing this move is making sure that their footwork is out of place. And from there, just abuse your defender with that signature Jason Tatum sidestep jumper. Now, Jason Tatum is also a post-fade maestro with this ridiculous looking shimmy fadeaway animation. And set your defender up by faking a drive to the basket while holding L2 and R2, tap the right stick towards the basket, and then double tap square or the shot button while holding the left stick towards your opposite shoulder. Those are the types of combos that you want to use with Jason Tatum. And don't forget, the 6'8 elite handle with a smooth jump shot and a 3 level scoring threat. As soon as you put pressure towards the basket, your defenders will try to cut you off. And that's where you want to use the arsenal of step back jumpers, pull up jumpers, spin fadeaways, dynamic post entries into your post fadeaway jump shots. These are the types of combos you want to use with Jason Tatum. Making sure that you put pressure towards the basket and counter once you got your defenders on the back foot. So while Jason Tatum already has some elite animations in NBA 2K23, I only expect for these to improve in terms of the uncanny nature of its recreation in NBA 2K24 with the introduction of Pro Play. This right here is an example of a signature Jason Tatum move right here. That nice pound hesitation dribble into that nice sidestep jumper to the left. But some of the more effective Jason Tatum's uh, hop jumpers are sort of generic. I see uh, Steph Curry, for example, having them. So so I'm looking forward to a more extensive animation package from Jason Tatum, but what they have in NBA 2K23 is already impressive. The sidestep, it, it, the uncanny nature of its recreation is truly impressive. Jason Tatum alongside guys like Zach Levine, Devin Booker, Steph Curry, guys with extensive animation packages are just so fun to use in NBA 2K and I expect this to improve. You know, uh, the leap in technology from 23 and 24 will make it such a fun experience to recreate some of our favorite NBA players. So I hope you enjoyed the video, man. It's a short tutorial, but more of a showcase on how to set up some of the signature moves in NBA 2K.